Hi, this is Dave H. at Tractio.org. In the last video, I showed you how to build speech-driven applications using the gather verb in Jambones and Node-RED. In this video, we'll show how to build speech applications by connecting to Google's dialog flow, which is the other option for building speech applications. We'll build a very simple speech application, and then we'll build on it in future videos. Let's take a look. Okay, let's build our app. As usual, we're going to start with a webhook out, have a webhook in rather, and a webhook out. It's going to be pretty simple to build this app because we're going to let Dialogflow do most of the heavy lifting. So we're going to connect the call to Dialogflow. Now we're going to need the Dialogflow project ID and we're going to need credentials in the form of a JSON key. Let's go look at my little Dialogflow bot that I want to run. This is actually a bot created by Chad Hart of Cranky Geek. Um, that sort of navigates through a report that he did and gives you information about it. So it's a good one for testing. So we need to go to the home page of the bot and I can get the project ID right there. So let me copy that over and put that in there. Now service account key. I go back to dialog flow and I can see I've got a service account. I click that takes me over here and I need to create a JSON key. Go ahead and create that. I'm going to go ahead and just copy that. Now there's a couple of ways to bring that into Node-RED. Probably the best would be put it in a file and then read from a file. I'm just going to put it right in here as JSON for now. Okay, so I've got my project ID, the key, language is gonna be English. If there's a welcome intent, I can put that in there. There is a welcome intent, actually. It's called welcome, so I'll send a welcome event. Um, various other things, event hook and action hook. So let's just have voice, voice bot events is the webhook where we'll get events and voice bot action is the action hook. Let's just have this come in. Let's just have the path be voice bot. Okay, so I've got my other, let me remind myself, what did I just call that? Voice bot events and voice bot actions. So let's have voice bot actions, voice, voice bot events. And for right now, I'm not going to do anything other than just sort of log out what I get. So let's put a uh, debug thing here. Simply log out what we get in message.call. See what we can do with that in a later example. And we've got the voice bot action. And similarly we will log that out. Use our webhook out. We can deploy that. Okay, voice bot. Let me just check and make sure that's voice bot. Yep, and this is voice bot events, voice bot actions. Okay, so now I go over here to Jam Bones. We create an application. Let's just call it voice bot. And voice bot. And the call status as usual. I'll just use my usual hook. We've got an application. Let's connect it to a phone number. And we should be good to go. Let's call in and test it. Hello. You can ask me about the KGRAI and RTC report. Ask questions such as how much does it cost? How many pages is the report? The complete report is 147 pages long. Who are the authors of the report? Chad Hart and Sahi Levent Levi. Feel free to ask me more about them. Who is Chad Hart? RSU says Chad Hart is an independent consultant and blogger at webrtchacks.com and cogent.ai.
Okay, there we go. So we're connected to the WebBot, and we can see, let's look at what we're getting here with the events. So we're get, as dialogue flow progresses, we get transcription objects back. So it, it detected that I said, who are the authors of the report? It gives you a confidence. Things like a webhook status, there is no webhook. I get intents back as well. So under the data of the intent, I get a query result. Uh, lots of information in terms of what the text is that it's playing, fulfillment messages, et cetera, et cetera. So pretty much all the information that comes back from dialogue flow is available to you in your, your app. Um, and I get messages as I start and stop playing. So that lets you uh, have access to kind of a rich flow of information that, that comes back from dialogue flow. There's a lot you can do with that, and we'll, we'll play with that in the next video. But that's it. Quick tutorial on setting up a call flow and connecting to Dialogflow Bot. So that's it. Very simple to connect an application to Dialogflow and let Dialogflow drive the voice interaction. In the next video, we'll enhance our application a little bit to do things like call transfer. Thanks, and have a great day.